Who Moved My Cheese? Dr. Spencer Johnson. The story behind the story. I'm thrilled to be telling you the story behind the story of Who Moved My Cheese because it means the book has now been written and it's available for all of us to read, enjoy and share with others. This is something I have wanted to see happen ever since I first heard Spencer Johnson tell his great cheese story years ago before we wrote our book The One Minute Manager together. I remember thinking then how good the story was and how helpful it would be to me from that moment on. Who Moved My Cheese is a story about change that takes place in a maze where four amazing characters look for cheese. Cheese being a metaphor for what we want to have in life. Whether it is a job, a relationship, money, a big house, freedom, health, recognition, spiritual peace or even an activity like jogging or golf. Each of us has our own idea of what cheese is and we pursue it because we believe it makes us happy. If we get it, we often become attached to it and if we lose it or it's taken away, it can be traumatic. The maze in the story represents with where you spend time looking for what you want. It can be the organization you work in, the community you live in or the relationships you have in your life. I tell the cheese story that you are about to read in my talks around the world and often hear later from people about what a difference it has made to them. Believe it or not, this story has been credited with saving careers, marriages and lives. One of the many real life examples come from Charlie Jones, a well-respected broadcaster for, for NBC TV who revealed that hearing the story of Who Moved My Cheese saved his career. His job as a broadcaster is unique but the principles he learned, learned can be used by anyone. Here's what happened. Charlie had worked hard and had done a great job of broadcasting track and field events at an earlier Olympic Games. So he was surprised and upset when his boss told him he'd been removed from these showcase events for the next Olympics and assigned to swimming and diving. Not knowing these sports as well, he was frustrated. He felt unappreciated and he became angry. He said he felt it wasn't fair. His anger began to affect everything he did. Then he heard the story of who moved my cheese. After that, he said he laughed at himself and changed his attitude. He realized his boss had just moved his cheese, so he adapted. He learned the two new sports and in the process found that doing something new made him feel young. It wasn't long before his boss recognized his new attitude and energy and he soon got better assignments. He went on to enjoy more success than ever and was later inducted into Pro Football's Hall of Fame, Broadcaster's Alley. That's just one of the many real life stories. I've heard about the impact this story has had on people, from their work life to their love life. I'm such a strong believer in the power of Who Moved My Cheese that I gave a copy of an early pre-publication edition to everyone, more than 200 people, working with our company. Why? Because like every company that wants to not only survive in the future but stay competitive, the Ken Blanchard company are constantly changing. They keep moving our cheese. While in the past we may have wanted loyal employees, today we need flexible people who are not possessive about the way things are done around here. And yet, as you know, living in constant white water with the changes occurring all the time at work or in life can be stressful unless people have a way of looking at change that helps them understand it. Enter the cheese story. When I told people about the story and then they got to read Who Moved My Cheese, you could almost feel the release of negative energy beginning to occur. Person after person from every department went out of their way to thank me for the book and told me how helpful it had been to them already in seeing the changes going on in our company in a different light. Believe me, this brief parable takes little time to read but its impact can be profound. As you turn the page, you will find three sections in this book. In the first, a gathering former classmates talk a talk at a class reuni reunion about trying to deal with the changes happening in their lives. The second section is the story of who moved my cheese which is the core of the book. In the story you will see that the two mice do better when they are faced with changes because they keep things simple while the two little com people's complex brain and human emotions complicate things. It is not that mice are smarter. We all know people are more intelligent than mice. However, 
as you watch what the four characters do and realize both the mice and the little people represents part or uh, part of ourselves the simple and the complex you can see it would be to our advantage to do things simple that work when things change in the third section our discussion people discuss what the story meant to them and how they are going to use it in their work and in their lives some readers of this books early manuscript prefer to stop at the end of the story without reading further and interpret its meaning for themselves other enjoy reading a discussion that follows because it stimulates their thinking about how they might apply what they learned to their own situation in any case i hope each time you reread home of magic you will find something new and useful in it as i do and that it will help you deal with change and bring you success whatever you decide success is for you i hope you enjoy what you discover and i wish you will remember move with the cheese